Hello all and welcome to Season 2, Episode 9 of Three Blind Bags. So what is Three Blind Bags, just in case you're new to it? Well, down here next to me, I've got a box full of blind bag products. They're all different in there, no two are the same. What happens is, without looking, I will pull out one at random at a time. And then when I pull that one out at random, I'll examine the pack, have a good look at it, just see what it's got to offer, see if it's got anything rare and uncommon available in it, give that good analyse, and then obviously we'll open the product after that. Have have a look at the product, analyze that too, perhaps have a bit of fun with it and take the mick if it deserves it. What I will do with all three products is line them up against the wall of Mega Drive games as I open them. And what I must do from this episode is when I've got all three lined up there against that wall of Mega Drive games, I must pick a favorite from the three. And that favorite will be the champion of the episode. And we'll go forward towards an end of year video, which we will crown a champion for three blind bags for the year that will have been 2021. So with that all said and done, I think it is indeed time for the right hand to disappear into the box. Turn my head to the left so we can't see. Give it a good old shuffle and pull one out at random. And what have we got? We've got, well, we've got the back of a pack, which is black. And it's the championship edition, so it will be good. And the baby obviously Nort 3 cannot buy these. And these are Ghostbusters. Ecto Mini. Now, I must admit, I remember when I bought these, I didn't actually pay any attention to what was on the pack. I saw Ghostbusters and went, ooh, I want that. Ghostbusters. I like Ghostbusters. Let's have a bit of Ghostbusters. But as you can see on closer inspection, and like I did when it turned up, this is the all-female cast one. And yes, I must admit, I watched it. I didn't think it was that great. I had a couple of moments which made me laugh, but it's it's often forgotten about by a lot of people that are massively into Ghostbusters because that's what they would rather do with it. So, what would I want out of this packet? It looks like we do get something that is of rareness by the looks of it because unless that's a black figure with a question mark on it, we don't know what we're going to get if we get that. But look, glow in the dark. Things glow in the dark. I'm guessing Slimer there glows in the dark. Look at him. He's, he's glowing and it's not even dark. Um... I think the slime is what I really want out of all of this. I say I can't. The, the film, unfortunately, is rather forgettable, so I can't remember a lot about it. Is that a ghost in a trap up there, or is that the thing in Matey's janitor's sort of office basement thing in his tower block? If I remember rightly, I can't remember. We've got another ghost there that's looking rather cold, as if Sub Zero just frozen his ass. But that's it by the looks of it. Anything? Any details about the rare and uncommon one? No, it contains one figure, thanks for that. So I think all that's left to do is really open this, and, well, if we get something and we can't see it on the front, it's that question mark. Right, so where's the scissors? Because, you know, professional amateur area. Don't want to struggle opening this for too long. Unless you'd like to see me struggle, then I can try in future episodes. Right, who have we got? Is there any paperwork in here? No, we've not. Oh, we have got a bit of paperwork. Oh, let's put the paperwork down and dive straight in for Slimer. No, we've got one of the women. We've got one of the women. Uh, is there a stand for it, or does she stand on her own? No, it looks like a, she stands on her own as I throw her on the floor. Um, that's the main character that the film starts with. I don't know which one of the four Ghostbusters she's rep meant to represent, sort of like. I don't know, I'm going to go with Peter. I don't know why. But uh, for, uh, it's, it's a little bit cutified, but I'll tell you what, for quality-wise, actually, as in quality-wise a figure, I can't question it too much, to be honest with you. That's all right for a figure. Forget the movie. Um, most people do, but uh, yeah, quality figure-wise, that's quite nice actually. What have we got in this bit of paper? Will that this, will this reveal all about the mystery question mark, or is it just telling us how this thing might choke us if we decide to eat it? That's probably what it is. This is going to be the big anticlimax ever. Yeah, it's please don't sue us, something like that. Oh, there we go. Place ghost approximately five feet away from light source for thirty seconds. So if you get the glow in the dark one, this tells you how. To make it glow in the dark. Turning the light off and standing away from it. Who would have thought? But uh, yeah, bit of a waste of a paper if you're bunging it in with a regular figure. But for quality of figure, I was going to say, focus please. That's not, not a bad thing. Although for some reason it looks like her hair's melted. The plastic's melted, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it's not an horrible thing to look at as a figure. Just come from a film that's a little bit horrible. So we'll, we'll place her into the wall of Mega Drive games where she's quite proper. It's mini, isn't it? They weren't joking when they said mini. But yeah, there she is. Look, she's there. Really would have liked the Slimer. Hopefully, the, can you, oh, the Slimer would have been cool because I reckon it would have come with a little stand that made him float and things like that. But anyway, let's move on from that and move on to our next blind bag products. 
And do you know what? I put my hand on this plastic orb straight away, so we're going for it. What is it? It's yellow, I can tell you that. And whatever inside might be alive because it's got breathing holes. Um, mini pets, surprise balls. Oh, look, surprise and balls is spelt the cool way with a Z, although series is uh, no spelled with an S. Series one, which one will you get? That's how these work. So, what, what have we got? We've got 12 to collect, apparently. We've got what? Cat, a dog, and a frog. That sounds like some 80s Charles cartoon, doesn't it? A cat, cat, dog, and a frog. And a tiger. Is that Shere Khan from the Jungle Book? Could be. If we get that, we're going to call it Shere Khan. Right, over here we've got, what, another dog? A lion? A panda? Is that meant to be a bear? Or is that another dog? No, it looks like a bear. Okay, we've got koala, we've got a monkey, and we've got some kind of husky. And then we've got a unicorn. So we've got 11 real life animals, and then we'll just chuck in the unicorn. For, for unicorn reasons, mini pet 12 to collect, so I think there's nothing left to do now apart from get this bad boy open, and not only have we got scissors on standby, we do have a knife as well, because there's probably an easy tear tab, but uh, I'm just going to gouge at the plastic with a knife instead, there we go, we are in, oh there's nothing rare, nothing rare of a common available, I don't think, well nothing suggestive on that piece of plastic anyway, let's open the, the pet the pepper pot and see if we go, oh, look at that, wow that's a nice thing, do you know what, I was expecting this, to be half the size. Unfortunately, it looks like he's broke his leg. He's been stuffed in there in such a manner. Let's 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 take you to the vets and repair you. It looked like it had a name on it. It's Mandy the monkey. I see what you did there. We'll go with we'll go with the same letter, starting the type of animal you are and your name. But uh, <laughs> apart from the leg needing to be sort of bent back into shape, this good. The eyes are. That's a well stitched thing, actually. And I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I didn't want. I didn't want to say this before I opened it because I didn't want to ridicule it for potentially being crap because it was from the pound shop. But that is where it's come from. And you know, I don't know why I picked this up looking as if it's going to have any details on it. It's got the word mini pets inscribed on it. And it has got surprise balls embossed on it instead. But that's not a bad thing at all for a quid, isn't it? I was going to say it's obviously been in there for quite a while and had his leg pressed up against the side like that. So that's why it's looking like that. <laughs> but you buy that for a kid for a quid and, and uh, yeah open it up like, and they're not going to be too far to spot the towel the, uh, the towel looks like it's been a bit badly cut and then stitched on but that's about the only only sort of uh, thing we can pick out but apart from that I mean sod that we know we're not going to we'll pick your own name but uh, kind of feel like uh, yeah, I'm depriving it of what of, of its uh, it name given to it lovingly by its parents if I do but that's a nice thing I can go <laughs> look at the size difference between the little ghostbuster lady and the big monkey next to her look at that yeah, that. <laughs> so that's here we go. Look, we're creating a scene out of the, uh, the sequel to the Ghostbusters or female cast here. The the zoo has been corrupted by something and been overtaken by I don't know some nuclear thing, and it's made all the animals really big. Send in the Ghostbusters to to sort out the giant animals. There we go. Right, back into the box. Back into the box. And what have we got? What have we got here? What have we got here? This is back to front. And it is the minifigures Looney Tunes. I have been hoping this one would come out. Which means, we, which means we've got something to build. But hopefully these will come in nice big chunks. and won't be too difficult to build. And we won't need a jump cut. Here's the famous last words. Right. Limited edition 12 to collect. This was a very kind gift of Christy from Zelda Pop. Thank you very much. Because I had my eyes on these. And it was very nice for it just to turn up. From uh, your from your generosity, so who do we? These are going to be quality. Uh, I feel sorry for these two here and winning champion of the episode already. I think, I think, but uh, who do we? What I wouldn't Tasmanian Devil, Daffy Duck, pretty cool. Tweety Pie is quite cute. Bugs and his carrot. Look at that. He's had a bite out of it, but he's bit it very, very straight, isn't he? There, literally, as if someone's cut the end off with a knife. But no, he's taken a bite out of it. Okay, I'm actually very excited to open this. It's telling us to use scissors, so we shall. In fact, uh, we've got the championship edition. Yeah, we have. Right, we shall use the scissors because it's telling us to. And shall we cut exactly where the scissors are? Because I don't know reasons. There we go. Look at that. Kind of uh, went slightly just above it, but I'm picking holes in my own cutting skills here. Right, who have we got? Come on, Taz. Come on, Taz. Do we get a bit of paper? I'm feeling for a bit of paper. No. Oh, I've got a head. Who the hell? What the hell? Oh, that's Mrs. Porky Pig. I don't know her name. I don't know her name at all. And there's the rest of her body. So, oh, construction is 
construction required. Oh dear, look, there's all the pieces. How long are we going to take? We've got are these instructions to help us build it. Hang on a minute, knife. See, it's good I got all these things on standby because literally we'd had about 20 minutes to the episode if I didn't. Right, here's a Jesus Christ, we've got like a full size poster with this. Is it going to tell us who we got? Oh, that's, that's everybody that we can get. And I must admit, she'd have been low on the wants list. I kind of, yeah. Probably 11 for 12. That's a shame. Oh, look, we've got Marvin the Martian there as well. Speedy Gonzalez coming complete with cheese. But anyway, piece of paper size. Nothing rare or uncommon about any of these. I might need this as a little guide, actually, to help me build her. Right, no, it's got to be quite self explanatory. There's the body that connects to the head. Doesn't it? There's, there's no piece that needed in between the two, is it? There we go. Look, we'll stick her head on. And then she's got a skirt, and that's got to go over the, the legs first, by the looks of it, to hold that in place. And then we can stick the body on there. And we are going to put her on her platform there, he says, with, with, with minimal fuss, see? And then we've got a teapot and a couple of mugs. And uh, what's she holding? She's holding one teapot and one mug. And where does the other cup go? Right, okay, so we'll put those in her hand. We'll, we'll, we'll finish the job properly. I've started, so I'll finish, as the famous line goes. Right, um, uh, right way up. I think is that way round, because that's majorly important. There we go. They look like small toilets, actually, these, these cups, I've got to be honest with you. So that goes there. And then we've got another cup. Can we just sort of jam that there under us? Mm. I don't know, I suppose it just... No, no, no. Can we, can we? It's more just because I don't want to lose it. All right, all right, all right. Get off your platform and then we'll put you back on. Or is there not room? Now, there we go. She's now standing next to one of the cups. That's a nice thing. I'm actually kind of disappointed by the one I got. And that's not, that's, that's mystery bag, bags for you. I might have to buy some more of these. It's quite, they're about four quid. So I think they're not cheap because they're proper Lego products. So they're still available. I might have to get a few of these. And perhaps do a multiple one. I don't know. But there we go. There's your three for this episode. And oh, I want to give it to the monkey. That that's the, I mean, do you know what? They're actually all well made things. You can't discriminate or just disregard anything because it's badly made. Alright, maybe we can pick on Mandy's towel being cut rather badly and slapped on. But that was from a pound shop and a and that cost nothing at all. And then we got I was going to say, even though it's from a, a movie that probably shouldn't have been made, or that wasn't that good, or whatever, that's not a bad quality product if you really do like it. You know, you've got to take these things into consideration. And the Lego thing is really nice as well. Maybe I, I didn't get sort of a, a character that's high on my list of wants if you want to focus, Miss Pig. I don't know her name. What is her name? But that is, again, is a nice, well made thing. And I'm actually having a little bit of... I'm probably not going to give it... It's going to say... I can't get... That's just tiny. That's tiny. That's the size of that. I know it's supposed to be a mini, but a little bit bigger would have been nice. That's what she said. Um. Anyway, we are... Monkey or pig? Choose your animal. Monkey or pig? I don't know. Do you know what? I expected quality of Lego. Expected quality of Lego. And... Again, he is quality. He is a quality product. But I'm, I'm going to give it to the monkey on surprise element alone. All right, we've got to wind his leg out. He's still not, still not looking good. But don't worry, fella. We'll, 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 I don't know. I'll strap it down like that with an elastic band for a while. And I might strain it out. But on pure surprise of quality, as in being better than I expected, and value for money of only being a quid. Oh, it annoys me when they do that. I'm going to give it to the monkey. If you do disagree with me and think, no, give it to the Lego, you pay for what you get and you got quality. But yeah, I'm going for surprising quality for value. And you can just, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. There we go. So yes, give it to the monkey. So yeah, comment below. Who do you think was your favourite? Who is your favourite? Who deserves to win the episode? Do you agree with me or would you have given it to Miss Pig? I and mean, what is Miss Pig's name? I, I can look that up, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, we're giving it to the monkey. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you have enjoyed this, why not tell a friend? But if you are, are enjoying this and it's the first time you've ever seen this, you're not subscribed to the channel, why not consider subscribing? I spoke very quickly there. That just leaves me finally to say thank you very much for watching. And as always, Always, please do take care. There you are.